Okay, 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 hold up. Did the most powerful man in American markets effectively just tell Fox Business that Bitcoin is hope for the future? For this week's top headlines, please consult ndax.io forward slash blog for all the news stories, because this week we're focusing on one man and one man only. The founder, chairman, and CEO of BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager by a country mile, Larry Fink. Welcome to The Recap, where we bring you the most important and interesting news nuggets of the week. A few choice words from Larry Fink on Bitcoin. The technology is fantastic. The role of crypto, it is digitizing gold. In many ways, instead of investing in gold as a hedge against inflation or the devaluation of your currency, whatever country you're in, let's be clear, Bitcoin is an international asset he continues, it is not based on any one currency. And so it can represent an asset that people can play as an alternative. And this is Zach again. This is where it gets good. He continues, I would call that what the foundation of BlackRock is about. Speaking about Bitcoin, hope you invest for your retirement because you believe that tomorrow will be better than today. Later in the interview, he continues, we're a believer in digitization of products. You know, ETFs was a big revolution for the mutual funds industry, and it's really taking over the mutual fund industry. And we do believe that if we can create more tokenization of assets and securities, and that's what Bitcoin is, it could revolutionize Again, finance. The chairman continued. What we're trying to do with crypto is make it more democratized and making it much cheaper for investors. Earlier, he said, we hope that our regulators look at these filings as a way to democratize crypto. And we'll see in the future how that plays out. Speaking, of course, of his firm BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin Spot Trust ETF application, which they revised last week, if you'll recall, we discussed this on the weekly recap, when the SEC said that their original submission three weeks ago on June 15th wasn't quite adequate. Larry Fink again, we work closely with our regulators and we wanna hear from them what are their issues and how can we fix those issues. Friends, when the world's largest asset manager by a long shot launched their Bitcoin spot trust proposal a couple weeks ago in the midst of an SEC crackdown on the industry, no less. Let's just say that the Bitcoin community was understandably perplexed. If you'll recall, the timing did seem surprising. We, the Bitcoin community, wondered, why are they filing this ETF application now? What does BlackRock know that we don't? But quelling all speculation on the matter on Wednesday, Larry Fink himself made an exclusive appearance on Fox Business to clarify his thoughts, which you heard heard above. Mr. Fink also touched on ESG toxicity, the economy and the banking crisis, adding that he foresaw another four interest rate hikes of 25 bips each, amounting to 1%. The world's largest asset manager with $9 trillion of customer funds under management has made 575 ETF applications and guessed how many were not approved, just one in 2014. Pretty good success rate there, Mr. Fink. Finally, when asked what he thinks the most important important thing the country needs right now, Mr. Fink brought it back to what he'd originally positioned was his firm and ostensibly Bitcoin's core value proposition, answering, we need to bring back hope. Well, sir, we could not agree with you more. Bitcoin's market share still leads the industry by a very wide margin with a total dominance of 51.1%. Bitcoin is down 1.25% week over week. Ethereum has also gained a couple percentage points of market share over the last couple months and is now at 21%. Ether is down 3.5% week over week, trading under 2,500. Again, please check out the weekly recap at ndax.io forward slash blog for links to all the biggest stories of the week, including a link to Mr. Fink's interview on Fox Business itself. You must, I repeat, you must go check it out. It's great watching. Start your free account at ndax.io today.